We have a series of tasks and we want to change the status to completed, but we don't want to just leave these tasks at the top. We don't actually want to come to our sheet and see completed at the top. We want it at the bottom. So let's automate that. Go up to extensions, app script. We can change this function to move when completed, completed. And when we want this to move is going to be on an edit. So we can create a function on edit with a capital E with an event here or just E. And we can say if E dot range get row is greater than one double ampersand E dot range dot get column column with a capital C is equal to two, meaning it is the B column here when we're editing that. Then once those two are both true, we're going to run the function move when completed. So what is that function going to do? We will inherit the E event. So we get variable E variable row equals E dot range dot get row. We want to know what the last row is. Spreadsheet app get active sheet dot get last row. We also need the active sheet. I want to take the active sheet dot get range. We want the row we're on one column and we know we're gonna use two, sorry, one column. And then we know we want only one row and we know we want two columns. So in this case, we only have two columns here. Maybe you have more or you wanna get the maximum columns. So if you wanna do that, max columns, we'll create a variable max call equals active dot get max columns and we're going to take this range and we're going to copy to the active sheet get range last row plus one comma one comma one column max call so now this will copy to the very last row plus one so we're going to go down to 105 here and then add one and it'll be 106 and we'll copy it there so let's see if this all works save it and now we're running it on edit, so we just need to change this to completed in this update client database. We have an undefined range at code line eight, so we probably need to add here E to inherit this event through. So let's save that and change this to completed again. And now we have update client database down here. We also need to make sure that we're changing it to completed, so we want E dot value with ampersands to be equal to completed. So we need three variables here. We need the row to be greater than one, so it's not the header row. We need the column to be two, and we want to make sure that it actually is completed, the text in that cell. Or we're going to get something like this, but it's working now. We have two things copied. Now that we're moving these things down, we're copying them from here down, we want to delete this row. So let's go back and go active, delete row, and which row are we gonna delete the row we're coming from, this row right here. Save, and now the move is going to be, we're gonna first copy it and then delete it. So prepare meeting slides is deleted now and it's at the bottom, fantastic. Can also delete this one. And here, just check again, completed, send follow-up emails, and now it's at the bottom. Cool. We're now moving completed to the bottom of the Google Sheet. Thanks for watching. This is the entire code you need. Make sure you have all the capitalization correct. Sometimes this on edit with the capital E is not capitalized. And this E inside of the on edit can be any kind of variable. You can have the whole event here uh, as a name. You just have to change everything to event, event here. And we can also change it here, event. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Stick around, subscribe today, and get more automations here on YouTube on Better Sheets.